So now if we move to an indoor millimeter wave sensor, we've set up an example that's meant to simulate perhaps a people counting and tracking sensor. Might be used for a safety application or to control a thermostat or the lights. There are a variety of different applications, some for medical, um, some for other purposes where there are sensors being placed inside that can detect the presence of a person and perhaps some type of motion. So we've simulated one of these. We've set an operating um, frequency at 60 gigahertz based on some systems that are available now out in the industry. Field of view of about 120 degrees. And we mounted it up in the corner facing the entry doorway, which would also be pretty typical of this type of a sensor. Now in this simulation, we have the person entering the room and moving at a walking speed of about 1.4 meters per second starting here and moving into the room. <clears throat> and in this case, we've calculated the range Doppler this time for five snapshots as the person moves from this position to a position further into the room. If we repeat our time sweep, we can This is the range of positions that we'll cover. So we start with the person outside the room on the other side of the wall where transmissions may come into play. And then as they move through, we'll see a lot of multipath from the walls and the furniture in the room. In this scenario, um, there are certain settings that we use in Wayfair to define the environment. And those can be things like the walls, the floors, the road, the terrain. And there's a setting for things that we want to capture detailed scattering from, and that'll, that invokes the additional um, approach that does the targeted ray shooting and makes sure that all the facets get hit. So in this particular scene, we marked the, um, the projector screen stand as a scattering object. We've got a small projector here on the table and also some chairs within the scene that are all defined to produce scattering. And of course, we have the person as the person is entering. So running our simulations, one of the results that we can get from the scenario is the paths. So this is an example of some of the multipath that we can see. So we can see clearly that there are transmissions, including some transmissions that come across the room and then interact from behind. And of course, in this first part of the scenario, the strongest paths are going to be things that are interacting with things such as the walls on the opposite sides, where there's a strong reflection coming right back to our transmitter. But what we would hope is that the sensor has some Doppler processing that'll help it to pick up the motion of the person, and that that may help it to, to pick that out of all of the clutter and all of the strong returns that we're seeing from other things in the room. <clears throat> So next for this setup, we also set up a chirp waveform and did some Doppler processing. 